Today is the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Gospel text is Matthew chapter 16, verses 21 through 27. Jesus, speaking through Peter to his disciples and to us, says he must go up to Jerusalem, and there he must suffer and die. This is core. This is an expression of the essence of being the Christ. It doesn't sit well with Peter, and I think we can assume he's speaking on behalf of the others. Peter says, we must, we must not let this happen to you. There's a conflict of must, obligation. Jesus speaking out of his being as the Christ knows what must be. Peter speaking out of being a man of the world thinks there's a competing must that must be. Here we come up against the incomprehensible and the deeply troubling fact of life. How do we respond? What are we to do with pain and suffering and death? This theme is throughout the Bible. In the book of Exodus, the slaves cry out to God for release. The Psalms are full of it. Significantly, Jesus himself on the cross, according to Matthew, uses the words of one of the Psalms, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Weeping is such a common phenomenon amongst the people that there's a whole body of literature it's given birth to. It's called Lamentations. And of course, we've got the book of Job, 42 chapters of unrelenting attempts to explain, respond to pain and suffering. And in the end, Job says, I put my fingers to my mouth. In other words, he admits nothing we can say can actually explain this ultimate reality of human beings. Now, to face the fact to walk into the pain and suffering and dying as Jesus does is not to glorify pain and suffering as if somehow or other they were very wonderful things, that there's something wonderful about enduring pain and suffering. That is not what the message of Jesus is, nor is it a message of denial of the good things that, for example, medical science has given us to relieve pain. I have no qualms at all when I'm having a root canal job done of taking uh, an injection to avoid the pain. And I don't think I'm being unchristian in that. The opposite or the alternative to evasion and denial that Peter represents is not masochism. It's actually facing the ultimacy here, the ultimate fact that pain and suffering and dying are part of our lives. There's no avoiding it. It's the no avoiding it that we must face and not slip into trying to avoid what is actually unavoidable. The evasious, evasive denial approach can lead to some pretty pathological behaviours. Some simple everyday examples of this can be found in eating as consolation, leading to obesity, or aggressive and even violent behaviour being symptoms of unacknowledged pain. The human response to pain typically is, I would suggest, evasion or denial. And 
that's natural enough and acceptable enough. But what we are having put before us here is an alternative. Jesus is in effect saying to Peter and the disciples, come, walk with me. I will be with you. This unavoidable, tragic fact of human existence must be faced, lived through, not evaded, not run from. We can foster a developing relationship with Jesus walking to Jerusalem. In the everyday moments of our lives, every day brings its own discomfort, its own pinpricks of pain and suffering and dying. And sometimes there are more than pinpricks. But if we get used to facing the facts of our inconvenience and our discomfort, with certain grace, a certain humility, accept, submit to, face the truth. Let the truth shape us in and through these ordinary everyday experiences. We can develop a communion with the truth himself. And in that we can come to experience the liberation in that must that belongs to the Messiah.